Let's bring in uh, David Webb, <laughs> former uh, radio host and Fox News contributor. You were on the air last night as this was all unfolding. You lived yeah. in Dallas. You listened to this culture on what he wanted to do. You were listening to this speech. What did you make of the chief's speech? No, I mean, I thought the chief laid out a lot of the good points and what the police department is in Dallas that I know them to be. I happen to have friends who also work with DPS in Dallas. They're, they're state police. Uh, they're good people. They've protected that town that is a relatively peaceful town. If it pans out that this is what I would call the allegiance to the Black Lives Matter movement, then we've got to consider the environment that has been created out of the lie that happened in Ferguson when hands up, don't shoot, and Black Lives Matter. I watched the birth of what is one of the most dangerous and disruptive and divisive leftist approach to tearing down this country, a collusion between groups that, frankly, are anti-American. Right. That's what Black Lives Matter is. You can call it anything else you want. Are there, are there people concerned about police issues and bad shoots? Absolutely. Were there good people in Ferguson? Right. Absolutely. But those are not the problem. The, Del, the DeRay McKeesons uh, and the others that are the leaders of this and the, the political figures and the media figures that are leading this, they're the problem. Well, and, and 30 seconds. Including the training that they had to have to execute this. Right. Look, I, I want America to remember something very simple. Every day a police officer goes out the door not knowing whether a traffic stop or a sniper, right. where will fall in between, and they go home safely. 800,000 plus men and women protect 300 plus million people. And they have to go out and do that again today. They, by the and, way. and by the way, they're doing it right now in Dallas, in other neighborhoods. Sure. They're t taking care of crimes. They're investigating. They're doing what they need and to do to protect scared, the community. And they're going to pull back. Jim Comey talked about the this. Ferguson the effect. Ferguson effect.